Hey, how's it going? And today I'm excited to bring you this tutorial on the top 12 YouTube channels for learning LightWave. So I just thought this would be fun to do if I have left off a couple channels. I'm sorry, there were some, the competition was tough, but I do have them ranked from the 12th to the first. The main things I was looking at is one is how current is the content. There's some really great channels out there, but the content's really old. I also look at how well the videos are presented. I look at the range of topics covered. I look at the depth at which they're covered. And then I also put a lot of weight on passion too. So if I feel like someone's really got a lot of passion, then that weighs a lot, I think, because you know, if you're listening to someone do a tutorial like, well, then you drag the box over here and then you go, you know what I mean? So I think passion weighs a lot. I will update this as channels. I see more channels coming up, but I feel like it's important to acknowledge these people because I think they're doing a great, a really great job. And each one of them has something special to offer. Coming in at number 12, and I apologize if I'm not pronouncing the names exactly correctly. This one is Carlos Caldera. This channel is in Portuguese, but because it is a modeling program, it's easy to kind of follow along. The reason that I like his channel is very current and he's been very active with putting out some tutorials. I would say he's kind of the lightwave resident expert on Octane. So if you're interested in Octane Render and you want to know what you're doing, and I think a lot of people are interested in Octane Render, then this is a really, really great channel as far as that goes. So there's a lot to learn here. There's a lot of information on this channel. So I give him a number 12 on our list. Now coming in at number 11, this William Bond, he's an old lightwave guy and he has a lot of old lightwave tutorials, but there's so many that he has and he covers so many topics and he covers them so well and he's got such a great presentation style and he's so knowledgeable that I couldn't ignore him. If you come on here, he's got lightwave 8, he's got 57 of those and he's got lightwave 9, he's got 107. So this guy went to town. I think he's brought it all recently on to YouTube. So that's fantastic. So he comes in at number 11. If you're interested in learning all the in-depth old tools on Modeler, here's where you'll probably find your answers, or at least the beginning of where you can start figuring things out. Coming in at number 10 is D.W. Berman. From what I can tell, he's been around for a while, and I've actually bought some of his tutorials off of Liberty 3D. What I like about his style is he's a longtime Lightwave user. He's very knowledgeable about the program. I think he has a sense of humor too. His content's relatively current. He's been doing uh, some stuff. I noticed his, <laughs> his latest video is Star May, which is pretty funny. Coming in at number nine is Eric Kells. I guess you could refer to him as maybe the godfather of Lightwave. He's extremely active on the forums. He's so knowledgeable about so many things about Lightwave. His content is extremely current and there's a lot of it. He seems to like going and looking at trying all the different plugins and things like that. If you just kind of want to know what's going on with Lightwave and what's the latest or plugin, he's really got a lot of current information and you can learn a lot just from watching him. I think on the Lightwave forum, he's got 1.2 million posts. Is that, is that right? Is that, I can't read my notes, but I have 1.2 million posts he has on Lightwave, on the Lightwave forum, very active and current. So that's a big plus. So I always like to check out his channel. Now coming in at number eight is Robbie Arts. This is a channel I give a lot of credit for for passion and he's been producing quite a few videos if we go to his playlist here three weeks ago he put out two videos and then four weeks ago he put out a video and so he's generating a lot of relatively current content his emphasis is primarily on modeling it appears to be i like his passion his content is current and it's just a really good vibrant channel there's a good energy on this channel so i like robbie's art quite a bit now coming in at number seven this was kind of a surprise find for me this is tnd studios I was really pleasantly surprised to find this channel because the content is relatively current. These are videos just done two months, three months ago. This one on the Unreal Bridge was done a year ago. It's very relevant. So I like the direction this channel is going and I hope that they continue to produce more tutorials. So I hope they keep going. I'm really interested in looking at some of these tutorials, especially this one about bullet dynamics on the two point polygons. That looks really interesting. Now coming in at number six is the Learn Lightwave 3D. I can't say enough good things about this channel. This channel is phenomenal. Now, if you're looking at wanting to know 
know more about L script and designing your own scripts for Lightwave, I've never seen it so well explained than I have on this channel. I honestly cannot say enough good things about this channel. If you're wanting to learn about animation, if you're wanting to learn about L script, this is the channel for you. He does a very good job at presenting the material. I find it's a very professionally done. He's very knowledgeable. I would actually like to know more about his background because the videos are so well presented that you can learn it like in 10 minutes. You might have tried to read it in a book for three hours and in five minutes he can explain it to you. So this is an absolutely fantastic channel and I hope to see more from this channel in the future. He has a Patreon channel too. Now coming in at number five, we have Rebel Hill Lightwave. Rebel Hill, I believe his name is Craig Monins but he is basically the Albert Einstein of Lightwave. His tutorials are so in-depth and his knowledge of the program is so in-depth that you basically just buckle in and hang on for the ride. I've watched some of his videos like 10, 15 times, but he gets right down to what you need to know. He doesn't waste your time. Then he also goes into a depth on a lot of things and really gives you the backstory on things. So Rebel Hill, wherever you are, you're doing a great job. I would love to see him do an updated video on Lightwave 2020. Unfortunately, these were mostly for 2018 I believe these videos were so I'm hoping that he updates the content because but it's very solid content all the way around his level of knowledge is just mind-boggling now coming in at number four and I'm not sure how to say the last name I, I'm afraid to even say it but anti Jarbel Jarbel I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right can I just say AJ he is a guru in Lightwave. he's very knowledgeable about the program and he makes these videos on his own he goes into a lot of depth and he's very current on the program if you want to really know kind of like the cutting edge on the on the latest and greatest features this is a good channel to check out he did a nice video here on the new global illumination it's a 30 minute long video and he kind of walks you through the whole thing so if you're wanting to know really what the latest is this is a very good channel to subscribe to good work here this is a really great channel coming in at number three you know what can you say about this this is the lightwave 3d channel and you would hope that their content of course would be current and it's relatively current although it looks like some of this stuff what might be a year ago if you're just wanting a kind of like a reference book on your library this is not a bad channel to have this channel just gets credit for the fact that it is lightwave 3d and that they had a lot of information on here it's just a lot of pure information and it's presented by a variety of presenters so lightwave 3d is actually in third place the number two spot for learning Lightwave goes to Mark Warner. I don't know anything about Mark Warner. All I can go by is the videos that I see, but he has really put out a stellar amount of content. And what's really fascinating is that these are more on the graphic kind of design side, graphic animation, but they're all very advanced and there's always something you're gonna learn from watching these videos. He covers a wide range of different things, all different kinds of animations, all kinds of different splines and pages turning and everything else. He has a very good range and depth of content that he covers and you'll always learn something. These videos, even though they're short, they can take you 10 to 15 minutes to work through all the nuances of some of them. But this is a really fantastic channel and he's really putting out some very high quality content. Mark Warner is number two on the list. And now the final moment has arrived. The number one channel for learning Lightwave on YouTube is West Knott's College. Yes, West Nuts College. This is, these are videos that are done by Anthony Hall and he's doing an absolutely fantastic job. These videos, they're all very well done. He shows a great range of knowledge about the program and he covers a very wide range of techniques and ideas and tools and just about everything that you can imagine. If there was only one channel that you were gonna go to to learn Lightwave, this would be the channel because there's almost no stone that he doesn't unturn at some point all the way from modeling to lighting to animation to UV wrapping his latest video here on the camera selector you almost name it he covers it and he covers it very well in a nice informal relaxed manner so if you're wanting to learn Lightwave this as far as I'm concerned is the number one channel if I could only have one channel I would probably choose this one so that's it that's my top 12 channels for learning Lightwave on YouTube so I hope you found this helpful please consider subscribing to these other channels they're all doing really good work and deserve to be acknowledged and if I left somebody off I apologize take care have a great day and I will talk to you next time